Hey guys, I'm Richard. And I'm Jody. And you're watching Beargrass Thunder. So we have had some record snowfall uh, <laughs> this year in 2021, and we wanted to give an update on just uh, current conditions of alleys and what you can do in your own alley to make it just a little bit more safer and uh, better for the residents that live along it. We wanted to start by just uh, talking about this kind of issue. You can see where the snow plow came through, but this is where you park the car. Uh, how are we supposed to get out? Yeah, by actually prioritizing roads over residents, the city does a lot to make sure that white suburbs can get downtown as fast as possible. But for the people that live here, this is going to turn into a wall of ice by tomorrow, which means that if you live here and you park your car here, you're f for the rest of the week, honestly, if the temperatures don't increase. So just showing that plowing is good, but plowing only helps cars. Yeah, Look if you're just a sidewalk. pedestrian, like just trying to step over this when it's ice, that's a dangerous. And you're all gonna... the sidewalks, what if you're in a wheelchair? What are you gonna do? Are you gonna get on the main road? And if you get hit, it's your fault for being in the main road? Most or are we people, actually gonna use our taxes to clear off sidewalks to help disabled residents? Because right now, if you're disabled, you have to be at home here. Otherwise, you can't move. You're dependent on somebody else with a car to help you get groceries or any other vital supplies you need to be alive. Yep, and as we get older, I only have maybe 40 years left on these legs. So, I mean, like, it, to me, it's, it's an issue that I am eventually gonna have to deal with, and it's better that we start now instead of 40 yeah. years later. Let's get the ball rolling. <laughs> so let's look around at some of the alley conditions. <laughs> so this is um really nice conditions for the alley one because the snow has covered up all the trash <laughs> it, it looks great usually there's fritos bags possums are getting in the trash cans possums but are good, if you notice this alley has not been plowed which means that trash collection is more than likely also going to be delayed yeah it's it's not gonna happen this week yeah, so, so when we're talking about alley conditions for the residents, like all the trash is in the alley, but the trash can't get picked up because the city wants to pay money on plowing the roads for the suburbs. And so this is just another example of how uh, the residents actually kind of get shafted by the decisions made in the government. Because what are we supposed to do with all the trash? You can see like our trash cans are full. We had a way to get can, like two places without a car that would be one thing but right now our city is so dependent on a personal vehicle that to you find a job to get food to do anything um it's just uh really really important that we focus on like alleys being a priority for neighborhoods that have alleys because mm -hmm. um they can this... be safe walkable bikeable spaces mm -hmm. and this alley in particular goes all the way down to the other side of shelby park at uh, goss avenue mm -hmm. and so why don't we turn this into a place for the residents that all have houses and property on this alley instead of just writing it off as just something a place to dump trash because the reason that there's so much trash is because the city doesn't pick it up yeah th this could be a, a a safe livable walkable place like mariah said for people to come out and actually use a community area mm -hmm. and so um with that being said i just think that uh it's the winter now but come spring and summer we're gonna start seeing some real change hopefully in the budget as it relates to uh to some of these issues. All right, so guys, we're gonna wrap up. I'm gonna ask if you are watching this on YouTube and you are not subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Our analytics are terrible. 99.3% of our viewers who regularly watch our videos are not subscribed. If you wanna help us out, please hit that subscribe button. Uh, like us on Facebook. We have a meme group, Beargrass Memes for Nature Loving Fiends. Feel free to join that and uh, get in on the shit posting fun. And we also have t-shirts now. So if you want, if you like our YouTube channel or our meme page enough that you want to rep our brand, you can now for $25. Mm -hmm. This is our first very small limited run. So you can cement yourself as an OG Beargrass Thunder fan by nabbing one of those shirts. So uh, check out our website, beargrassthunder.com. 
And if you feel so inclined, please support us on Patreon. Our patrons allow us to continue creating Kentucky-centric content just like this for you to watch and enjoy, to connect to your community and help and improve your environment. And if you are on a neighborhood association or if you want to help out the houseless communities around Louisville, please, please do and make your voice heard on how to change alleys and budget around actually helping the people that live here. Mm -hmm. Thanks for watching guys. Stay tuned, stay safe, stay warm, and see you next time. Okay. That was cool. I'm nervous. I'm oh. all of this snow. Was that necessary? For the views. It was good.